the F3 team is not the F3 team this morning. It's the F2 team because someone forgot to set their alarm. So we're in uh, Southern Connecticut here driving a Reynolds Boats. Going to pick up my Phoenix today. Uh, I ordered this boat back in January. Um, it's been a long process uh, getting everything squared away. I built, they had an 819 on the lot. I could have bought it, but I wanted everything to be the way that I wanted it in terms of color, electronics mounts. So I took the extra time. It's about 14, 15 weeks. And today's the day. It's a big day. My anxiety is like through the roof right now. The day. Don't even know what to do with myself right now. So we're about 10 minutes out. I'm gonna go talk to Brian and the rest of the team down at uh, at Reynolds. They did a lot of custom rigging for me. They put a Hamby's keel guard, mounted my electronics, mounted the talon. So the bird's gonna be ready to go. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty exciting day once we get there. I'm excited, I can't believe, I can't imagine what you feel like. Yeah, it hasn't really set in yet. It's my first new boat ever, so I'm pretty psyched. And uh, I've never been to Reynolds either, so I'm yeah, excited to see the place. They got a pretty solid operation. Uh, Skeeter, Ranger, and Phoenix are all sold here on property. Um, can't wait, so stay tuned. Uh, Brian's gonna go through the boat with me before I leave today. Uh, go over all the functionality and, and every all the features of the Phoenix. Um, so we'll try to get some of that on on film too for you guys. Uh, I hope Razy is having a nice, warm cup of cocoa. Nice and cozy. Nice and cozy in his Betty Boop with his snuggie on. <laughs> Not really sure what happened there. Hope but he I, got a good night's sleep. Yeah, maybe he had a couple too many IPAs last night. Not really sure what happened there. But, uh, yeah, we're all loaded up. We've got the Yeti in the back with some uh, so sodas for later. And uh, it's going to be... It's gonna be a day. We're almost there, so stick with us, and uh, we'll do. We'll get some stuff on film down at Reynolds, so you guys can see the operation there. Uh, the whole boat buying process could not have been any smoother with these guys. A lot of times you go into these dealerships and you feel kind of pressured or rushed, or like your desires and opinions don't really matter. And not over the past three months, I haven't experienced that once. So uh, the whole the whole process from start to finish was very pleasant. Uh, they really spent the time with me to uh, make sure that my needs were getting satisfied and, uh, and that I got everything that I wanted um, from colors, fit, finish, everything. So, can't wait to see her. It's going to be awesome. They got a big Subaru dealership here. It just started to rain. You want to go in? Do you want to go in? I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I'm just like scatterbrained Sally over here. Why don't we go in? Yeah, all right. We'll go inside. So my plan is... Well, it's going to come out the breather in the top of the tank and you'll have oil in your bilge. That's yes. no good for anybody. No. 
You got your trolling motor down, you throw your $100 swim bait up into a tree, and you're freaking out. Mm -hmm. So you're reeling the thing in like this with your foot on the trolling motor heading towards shore. That trolling motor gets stuck on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Before it lets the smoke out of the top of that thing, it's going to trip that breaker. Okay. So at any point, if your trolling motor stops working, the first thing you do is come back and check that breaker. Okay. You ready? So this is all pretty self-explanatory. Power goes on. All right, so that's the master power to everything on here. Okay. Okay, horn. So you've got nav lights. Turn it on. As soon as you turn on your nav lights, this red light comes on, which shines on this panel. So at night, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, anchor light, just the stern. Nav is obviously both. Um, bilge pumps. You have an auto bilge, mm -hmm. and then you have a second bilge. So you can turn those pumps on manually or just auto. Okay. Okay. So if you have it in the water and leave it in the water, it rains overnight, that's going to come on by itself. Okay. All right. If the power's on? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Auto build is auto build. It's wired directly to the battery. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, courtesy lights. So this has compartment lights. Every compartment, including the back, sweet, um, has LED lighting. And then it also has lights outside here in red so that at night you know it's not going to blind you yep it's pretty okay. cool all right it's a really cool feature yeah. it is that's really neat yes it, you know same with the red light here so it doesn't blind you yeah so now your live well system all right mm -hmm. now this runs a six pump system they're two completely separate live wells mm -hmm. okay and each live well has three pumps so sure. you have a fill pump mm -hmm. you've got a recirculate pump and then you have a pump up pump okay okay so if you look in the bottom of the live well, you'll see a little plug in the bottom there. Yep. That's all they have. So you'll never have to touch that plug unless you wanted to get it dry in there. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is this. So it does not have the valve over here to open and close. Right. You simply throw your fish in there. I wish they would label these fill pump instead of aerator. Oh yeah. The aerator is the fill pump. So you're going to turn that on either side to manual fills up the, the tanks. Then once they're filled, this time of the year, obviously it's not too warm. Mm -hmm. You can just turn them over to auto once they're full. Okay, and they'll switch on, what, like every three minutes or so? Exactly, okay. yeah, every three or four minutes. So then, let's say, you know, you've got a pile of fish in there, it's starting to warm up. Um, you've got recirc pumps that can either be on manual or auto. So okay. they'll just recirculate that water that's in there and add more air. Then, end of the day, now you're fishing a tournament where you weigh in on the trailer. Just, you know, turn off your fill pumps, obviously. You can leave your research pumps on, but you get out of the water, and now you have a pump out. Okay, so what you're gonna do, pump out either side, you put your weigh-in bag in the back, fill it right up, grab up your fish, throw them in, weigh in. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. This is also the way that you're gonna empty the live wells. If you don't feel like reaching in there and just pulling those plugs out, just turn on the pump out. Pumps sure. it right up. Works fantastic. You got your cleat right there so you don't have to tie up to your steering wheel anymore. Uh, lanyard. So this right here has to be on there. Yep. You know, by law in most states you have to have a lanyard. So yep. that just goes in here. You gotta get in there kind of flat and then switch it to run. Okay. So if you fly out of the boat, that shuts off. Boat doesn't do any, anything crazy. Cool. Um, trim right here, yep. trim right here. Obviously, you know how to use this. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the hot foot? Yep. Okay. Um, how does it, it slides on that? Yeah. On that. See that thumb screw right there? Yep. All you got to do is back, loose, that back that out. Slide it up. What, and, and that thumb screw is actually not, it's not like a friction stop. Okay. There's holes in the plate, so you have to pull it almost all the way out, okay. get it to where you want it, find the right hole, and then put it back So it's in. like a six position type deal? Or, yeah, give or, give or, more, than that, yeah, or yeah. more than that, yeah. Alright, that's yeah. cool. I'll, you know, I'm sure I'll get that dialed in over the course of yeah. Tilt wheel here, mm -hmm. uh, obviously electronics. Uh, as far as the electronics go, these are linked together. Yep. I'm 99.9% .9 sure you did the latest updates on both of these. Cool. Okay. I like it. Um, structure scan transducer, external temp, internal transducer, everything's hooked up to this. This one right up here is hooked up to the US2. Okay. Which is in here. Okay. And 
and uh, you put some loams on all your. Yeah, I saw that. That's just to kind of clean it up. That's nice. And then these, you know, this obviously that just pops right off. Yeah. You can take it off. Yeah, I figured I'd go with that for now, and if um, if I wanted to, I still have my uh, my decket mount. The decket mount. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't know, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty pretty cool system. Yeah, it works. It's right from the factory. It's one yep. less thing I had to worry about. Yep. You know. Trim up and down here. Okay. You can turn your uh, nav and anchor lights on from here. I'm going to tell you, be careful. To, not to boot that switch. Well, not so much boot it, but sometimes trolling motor cords. You know, I've actually gotten the call. I don't know what's going on. My trim won't stop coming up. Yeah. You know, the cords sitting on it out yeah. in the water or you know my battery keeps going dead well that's because your anchor <laughs> lights have been off the base yep. <laughs> um is this this is fixed there right that's fixed there yes cool. nice yep and it's the same mounting screw location for everything you know Minn Kota. okay are you familiar with Minn Kota or did you use motor guide oh no I so you know you've got the I wouldn't do that size so. okay <laughs> <laughs> good uh Beefy um, trolling motor, though, you know? Oh, yeah. So, have you ever had a four tracks? Yes. So, are, do you know that these three screws and these three screws and these two screws are going to come loose? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's a number three Phillips. You can't gorilla torque them, otherwise, you're going to strip this thing out. Mm -hmm. My advice is if you do a lot of fishing on rough water, just lock tight them. Okay. They will come loose. Yeah. Okay. Also, check this nut right here every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Egon? Uh, I think I couldn't have imagined how nice this would look. So we got silver. I think this is called black ice and the lime green pins that are gel only. Now the gel pins is an add-on from Phoenix. It's an additional cost, but I really wanted what I wanted. <laughs> it's uh, you know, completely customized. I chose every last thing, every last thing on this boat from the way I mounted my Lawrence units, the Fortrex 112, everything. And that's the cool thing about Phoenix is you don't have to buy a pre-packaged setup. You can put whatever you want or subtract whatever you want on all of these rigs. So that's that, man. So here we have our chicken all in line. Where's the grill utensils? Or is that Hank's barrier? You yeah. build them like a temporary fence? Hank's barrier. What are we doing? Oh yeah, those are the ones I want. So it's the night before a tournament. <sighs> we just figured. Here Time we have our chicken all in line. Yeah, we just spent a whole bunch of time tying up baits and our hot sausage, getting everything ready. And a special treat, hope it doesn't kick us in the butt tomorrow, is our tawny sausage. <laughs> so we're, we're going to try to get this food on the grill, have a mm, drink or two. Beverage. Cold one. Corona light, I don't know. And, and I, then we're going to put some Carolina gold on our meats. All right, yeah, so long day today. Oh, tra that's ready. Tra trailer in a boat in the rain. Did you it's never fun, you? but it's whatever. It's fine. What do you need, a brush? You need no, a did you, you brush it? Yeah, it's brushed. It's brushed. Huh. It's just going to burn off anyway. All right, stand by till uh, tomorrow morning. Tournament day. We've got the new Phoenix ready to go. She's kind of loaded up, but not really loaded up. But it's all good. Good day. And uh, tomorrow's gonna be sick. Fish on beds, New Hampshire, it's gonna be awesome.